Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to um, set the text color um, in the console window um, on Windows computers. So this trick's only going to work on Windows computers, sorry Mac and Linux folks. Um, there's ways to do it on those, but this video is just going to focus on, on Windows right now. So um, you can see that I made my very own function, it's a void, it says set text color, and it takes in an integer. Um, and the reason I did this is the, the commands aren't um, super complicated to do it, but I always forget them and never want to type them all out. So what I do is I make a little function that does it for me, and then um, I just use it whenever I want to change the colors. So, um, so here's the prototype. It's a void. You set the text color. Let's scroll down and see what it does. Um, well, this is where we're going to use some stuff that's built into um, some libraries um, so that we, uh, uh, you know, might not know how it works behind the scenes. And that's one of the nice things about um, writing our own functions is because we can make it a little easier to handle. So, um, so these two commands, um, this first thing is a handle H, and it says get standard handle, standard output handle. And really, it's just going in and asking for whatever this handle thing happens to be. It's not too important to us what it happens to be. We just know that we need it to do this next command, which is set the console text attribute. Well, what are the th two things it needs? It needs, well, one of these handles, and it needs a number. The handle seems to be what changes the actual text, um, the, the attribute we're changing, and n is the um, number of the color we want to give it because um, it turns out there's um, 256 different sort of um, colors we can give it and, and we'll kind of experiment with that in a minute when we run it. So um, notice I also have a new include. I have a second include up here called windows.h um, and this is going to um, let us use um, a lot of uh, these special commands. Um, this is just one of them, but there's things like beeping and um, some other things that you can do. Okay, so how do we use our nice little function? Okay, so we've copied down our code um, here. And what this does is when we set the color, the next line or the rest of the things that you see out are going to be that color. Um, so for instance, you can see here um, that I, um, oh, whoops, I accidentally used a printf. This should probably be a C out for a little more consistency. Um, printf is kind of an old school way of, um, of printing things out um, back from old C. Um, and really, we don't use it um, much anymore. Some people like it still, but it, it has its limits, so it's better to use C out. Um, so what I did is I started off and I made a variable um, called an integer called color number because I wanted to try out the, um, uh, to see what color two happened to be. Um, I asked the person for the name and then I have some like fun things that I print out. But notice in front of each C out statement, I set the text color to be a different value. So I tried a bunch of different ones. Um, I did a little experimenting and I found out seven is kind of the default value. Um, and so let me run it so you can kind of see what it looks like because it's pretty fun. Um, so I'm going to enter my name. Um, as always, I shall be Taco Wagon, um, which comes from a story my kids made up. So I'm very partial to it. Um, you can see here. Um, so uh, the first color is um, I type in my name. It's normal colors. And then it's um, might be a little hard to see here, but it's um, the first one is green. So um, the color two, um, uh, the number two actually corresponds to uh, the green. Um, green is my son's favorite color, so you know, hey, it works out. Then I bumped it up to 11 and I got this sort of teal color. Um, and then I got crazy and I made it 110. Um, and that gave it sort of yellow on a yellow background. So that's actually one of the fun things that happens with these colors is that um, basically they're in groups of 16. So um, like the first 16 are just, um, you know, the basic colors. Then the next 16 are those basic colors with a different background, um, and so on and so forth. So um, nothing too fancy. It's just a, a cute little way to um, 
a cute little way to get your um, uh, console programs um, a little personality. Um, and you can play around with it. And uh, so here, yeah, anytime I set the text color, the next words um, I do will be uh, those colors. Um, so yeah, have fun with it. Um, pretty, pretty neat little trick. Thank you very much.